Hey guys, it's Allie with Mystic Cycle Center. Um, so I wanted to hop on today. I know I've been doing like a weekly video every Friday. Um, and I wanted to hop on today to kind of talk about some COVID related issues that we're having, not just as a bike shop, but as an industry. Um, so throughout the entire pandemic, our team has been extremely focused on trying to create transparent conversations um, and experiences just surrounding everything that's going on right now. Um, to be totally honest, it's been extremely challenging um, for us as a business trying to navigate everything that's happening right now. Um, and there's certainly a lack of control, not only for our customers, but also for us as a business. So it makes things a little bit tricky. Um, as a lot of you probably know right now, it is very hard to get a bicycle. Um, while you walk into our store and you see that there are bikes on the floor, you might come in looking for an entry-level mountain bike or an entry-level road bike or a hybrid or a beach cruiser or even a kid's bike. Um, for us right now, we are having a lot of trouble getting 24-inch uh, kid's bikes, hybrids, entry-level mountain bikes, entry-level road bikes. You walk in and what you see on our floor is a lot of intermediate to like expert level products. Um, so, you know, the road bikes we have on the floor, you know, can range anywhere from $3,000 and up. Um, same with mountain bikes. Uh, we don't have a lot that's within the, you know, below $2,000 price range. Um, it's not to say that we don't have anything. Um, it's just very uncommon right now. We currently have, no word of a lie, 1,700 bikes on back order. Yes, 1,700. 1,700. That is not a lie. Um, so basically, we are very fortunate to have Chris who has been forecasting for us at the shop. So he has placed our orders, which started back in the spring and summer of last year. We're receiving orders right now that were placed in August of last year, and some of them were placed in the fall, but we are still receiving inventory from orders placed last summer. Um, to fast forward that a little bit, some of the orders that we're placing right now are for product that we won't see until August of 2022. That is a big uh, delay in availability. So um, we're trying to just gauge what we need, what we're going to need, what we already have ordered that's going to be coming in um, to avoid like last summer, as some of you know, you walked into the store and we didn't have a product. Um, we're trying to avoid that. So we're placing orders, but that is creating a backlog because we have people who are putting deposits on bikes um, and then are waiting for their bikes to come in. As far as deposits on bikes, um, so if you want a bike to be allocated to you with your name on it, so it is not available to anybody else who walks in the store. We are requesting a 50% deposit. 10% of that deposit is non-refundable. Um, so for us, there are a lot of fees that we incur for taking a deposit in the first place. We get hit from our credit card processing companies. And then beyond that, being completely transparent with everyone, we invest a lot of time into these transactions, um, especially now versus a pre-COVID world. Um, so for us, it's trying to keep a pulse on ship dates um, and ship dates are constantly changing. We have hundreds of bikes with deposits on them and their, sh their ship dates will shift up to a sooner date and then they'll shift back and then they might shift back again and then they sh might shift up again um, 
it's very difficult for us to keep a pulse on that. So what we are doing is we're asking for our customers with deposits on bikes to please call us if they would like an update. We are happy to update you at any point. It's just feasibly, uh, we don't have enough resources to be able to keep a pulse on everything with how constantly it's changing. What we have been communicated from our manufacturers like Trek um, is that if a ship date is within two months of today's date, it will ship within a few weeks of that date. If it is beyond that, it's rather uncertain when that bike may ship. So it could get shifted up again. It could get shifted back. We don't know. Um, beyond that... Um, we absolutely appreciate everybody who has supported us still has placed their confidence in us throughout all of this, because just like you, we have as little control as possible. We have some people who come in the shop and they're upset because their bike got pushed back and we totally get that. However, what we would like to ask of everybody is that you understand we're in the same position that you are. We're in the business to sell you a bike. And if we don't have a bike to sell you, it's not doing us any good at all. Um, because we literally don't have a product to be able to give you. Um, beyond that, we're having industry issues with uh, the supply chain is super broken, but we're you know, part of that is shipping. So all of the shipping ports right now are backlogged like you wouldn't believe. We had one of our um, account reps send us a screenshot of basically a ship's GPS, which was showing all the other ships that were waiting to offload out of port um, on the West Coast. And no word of a lie, there were 20 plus ships just waiting out at sea to offload. So a lot of these ships will pull into port and they will offload their crews um, while they wait the few weeks to be able to offload product. So that's one reason why things are getting delayed. Another reason, um, no word of a lie, as silly as this sounds, there is a cardboard shortage. So our manufacturers are looking to ship more products than they ever have shipped before. And they can't get cardboard to package things to ship them safely in a way that protects them. Um, so it's as simple as coming down to not being able to get cardboard. And then beyond that, um, you have like Trek or Specialized. They provide you with a bike, right? So they have your frame, but they get your components from other people. So they work with SRAM. They work with Shimano um, to get, you know, you have Fox and Rock Shocks if your bike has suspension on it. And that's where they're pulling these components from. But if the other manufacturer is facing the same supply chain issues, the same shortages, they are running into the issues that we are where they can't deliver a product to us so that we can deliver a product to you because the parts that they need are delayed for the reasons of their vendors can't get them or can't produce them fast enough. So it's essentially this domino effect that, you know, once one domino goes down, it just sends the rest of them down too. That is not to say that things won't look up. Um, we are hoping that things do. We are actually expected to get over the next, I would say, three to four months, we are going to be getting hundreds of bikes in stock as long as everything goes well, knock on wood. <laughs> um, so we're keeping our fingers crossed for that. And you can give us a call if there's something specifically you're looking for. As I mentioned before, if you want to allocate something to you to make sure that you have something um, that once it comes in, it is your bike and it isn't available for anybody else to look at, you can always call us to see what we have coming in. You can leave a 50% deposit. Again, 10% of that is non-refundable. Um, but what I will say is, that if you 
opt in the event that you decide you want to forego waiting for the bike. If you opt in the event um, for a full store credit, you will get your full amount back. It is only when you opt for your original payment method that you will incur a 10% non-refundable deposit. Um, we want to make sure that we get you on a bike. We're basically just asking you that in, you know, we're asking you to commit to us because we're committing to you. We're taking that bike away from somebody else. We're, we're trying to then make sure that we have the inventory coming in to replace that bike. Um, and just really try to forecast the best that we can given all of these obstacles that we have right now. Um, so while the world is challenging and while there are these hurdles and things that we have to get, get over and kind of, um, just navigate, really, we have to shift, you know, our focus and pivot a little bit. Um, what we will say is that we are going to have a great year. Um, there are so many adventures ahead of everybody, um, especially this summer with things looking up. Um, if you are interested in a bike, come see us. We just, of course, you know, always want to be transparent with you. We want you to be aware of what is really happening. Give you that look below the surface, behind the curtain, um, so that there are no surprises. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. We are happy to answer those for you. And uh, we'll look forward to the next time that we see you at the shop.